possess your promised land. When ye are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, and dwell therein, for I have given you the land to possess it. Numbers 33 verses 51 to 53. God has given you a promised land. It's a place flowing with milk and honey, where your every need can be met. A place where you can keep sin underfoot as you rule and reign with Christ. A place where no weapon formed against you will prosper. A place where you are seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers, far from oppression. As you study the Word of God, you'll find that's an accurate description of the kind of victory you should be experiencing in Christ, not in the sweet by and by, but right here, right now. You may say, yes, that sounds nice in theory, but I'm dealing with reality here. The rent is due, and all I see is sickness, oppression and fear. This doesn't look like much of a promised land to me. That's because you're still letting the devil live there. He's not going to just pack up and go home, you know, just because God has promised you victory. You have to kick him out. But don't let that scare you. God has given you the power to do it. Remember what Jesus said. He said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10 verse 19. What's more, the devil is totally unarmed. Colossians 2 verse 15 says, God, disarmed the principalities and powers ranged against us and made a bold display and public example of them, in triumphing over them in, the cross, you have absolutely no reason to cower before the devil. Jesus defeated and disarmed him through his death, burial and resurrection. The devil can't defeat you unless you let him. All he can do is make empty threats. But beware. Empty threats can stop you cold if you believe them. So don't. Believe the word of God instead. Use the word and the name of Jesus to drive the devil out of every last detail of your life. Don't let him dwell in your territory. Force him to pack up and go home. Start possessing your promised land.